What is up guys, Max here, and welcome back to another tutorial. Now in today's tutorial, we'll be covering how to recreate a gaming lower thirds, specifically this one right here on the bottom, with No Man's Sky, the new big popular controversial game all out and about. This lower thirds right here, where the bottom pops up, a logo pops out, and this youtube.com slash, you know, your channel pops out. Just like that. And on top of that, this is a template that I created that you can download in my store. Find the link down in the description. Other than that, let's get started. So first off, we need a whole new project. First thing we need to do is right click new composition, create a 1920 by 1080 comp at 10 seconds, 60 frames per second. Okay. Now, we need to create a shape. We'll grab the little rectangle tool at the top and drag out a big shape. Really awesome. Now let's take the fill to some cool blue color right here. Works for me. And what we're going to do now is duplicate this shape. And we'll do the bottom shape to a different fill color. So we can kind of see what's going on. And take the top shape and turn the opacity down some. Now take the bottom shape and move it up a little bit. Now we've created our line that goes on top of the shape. Cool, cool. Now what we're going to do is actually manipulate the motion path of one of these shapes. So grab the uh, top shape, which is the blue shape right here, click P on your keyboard, go down the timeline to about two seconds, keyframe the position, go back in your timeline, and move it down, right down here. And highlight both these keyframes, right click, key keyframe assistant, easy ease. Move it up just like that. One more thing, go into these keyframes, click your graph editor, and let's manipulate this graph a little bit to make it a little more dynamic. Just like that. Next step is to take shape one and parent it to shape two. So they both come in just like that. After you have the movement down, the next step is to take shape layer two, the top shape. Let's go ahead and rename it actually. Top shape. And this one can be bottom shape. Take your top shape, click Command D, bring top shape to under top shape. Now take T in your keyboard to bring the opacity all the way up back to 100. And then on your bottom shape, go to track map and click alpha inverted map top shape two. What this is gonna do, the only reveal the bottom shape where it's not being covered up by the top shape. So if you turn your opacity down on top shape, nothing is there. So we have that nice see-through effect from the original. Next, we need to create one more shape that is going to be sitting over here. So go ahead and grab this, grab another rectangle tool, and drag it out. Purple's fine. Let's make it really wide this time. This works great. And what we'll do is go up on our timeline, click P on our keyboard on the new shape one. Let's call it small shape. Click P on our keyboard, keyframe the position, go back in time to about right here, and bring this one down to about right there. Highlight both these keyframes, keyframe assistant, easy ease. And then go into your graph editor, make this graph a little bit more dynamic. So when we play this out, it'll look something like this. But wait, it goes through the back of this, and how can we fix that? Same thing we did for the bottom shape. Take top shape two, command D, bring it, a sm bring it above small shape, take the track mat, turn it to alpha inverted map top shape. So it does not show when it's being revealed, just like that. Next, we need text. Grab your text tool, go ahead and just type it out on here. Let's type no man's sky. Right now we can't see anything because this background is turned off. What we can do is, I'm using a font called Babus New. You can download it. I'll leave a, I'll leave a link in the description. But I'll scale this up just like this and put it right here. Next what we're going to do is create a new null. Right click, new, null object. Let's put it right on top, on, on top of No Man's Sky. Then what we'll do is take 
Top Shape 3, click P on your keyboard, Command C and copy these keyframes, and then Command V right here on your null. So it moves up like that. Then what we'll do is take No Man's Sky and parent it to our null. So it will move with the null, just like this. Play this out. Sweet. Now we need text right here. Grab your text tool one more time. Let's type youtube.com slash maxplays. Now, that's my gaming channel. If you want to look it up, you can find it linked on, site on my channel or down in the description. Put it right here. What we'll do is take Max Plays and parent it to Small Shape. So it actually follows with it. Same thing as before. We need to duplicate Top Shape 3, put it above youtube.com slash and also alpha inverted track map. So when it moves, it is also being revealed right there. Sweet, one more thing, we need a logo. So I'm gonna find, find my logo somewhere. So I found my logo, I'm gonna drag it into our project, I actually drag this logo into our composition. Right now it's really big and kind of annoying. So what we'll do is actually right click, pre-compose this layer, call it logo. Now what we can do is actually scale this logo down, put it right here, click S on your keyboard for scale, move it back in our timeline, and scale this down to 0%. Maybe move it down in the timeline so it scales right here, the very last thing that pops up. Then what we'll do is right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease, Go back into our graph editor to edit the speed graph. And click play. Really awesome. Now we'll go into our graph editor again for max plays and actually edit the value graph. Grab this, bring your little pulley anchor point above a little bit which what will happen is it'll scale up, scale a little larger than the original, and scale down to what we need it to be. So if we check it right about here, click play, see? The graph going above scales it up a little larger than life. And boom. A couple final steps inside of this project, what we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight all of this and do pre-compose, call it main comp, Now it goes up to here. What we'll do is actually Command D, this composition, right click, time, reverse layer, drag this down to about right here, click the bottom composition, option bracket. And what we did was just reversed the layer on top. So when it plays out, it'll just play in reverse. Then we can actually parent this the main comp so if we move one of the compositions both of them move and lock the top layer now all we need is some footage of some no man's sky gameplay right here put it under here and boom and now we have one more thing before we're done what if we want to make this logo into a circle it's actually really simple take the logo right here go to your ellipse tool and double click the ellipse it puts a circle around it to make it a circle if you don't want it, just get rid of it. Really, really easy. And the only thing left to do is to render this project. So what you're gonna do is turn off your background layer, go to composition, add the render queue, take your output module, set it to RGB plus alpha, click where you wanna render it and click render. This will create a file that you can take into your video editing software like Premiere Pro or Final Cut and you can drop it right on top of your footage and just have it every single time. Now go back to your final comp, and we've made everything. It looks really awesome. 
and feel free to download this tutorial project file for free. I'll put a link in the description. Other than that, feel free to download my fully loaded gaming lower third template. It's super easy and fun to use. I'll make a full video on how to control the template and make it your own. Other than that, I'll give you a little highlight right here. So you can quickly and easily change everything about the template. Change the text color, change the highlight color, and change the background color. Let's make it purple. Just like that, I like white text. Personally, you can easily turn your logo from a circle to a square, and easily, with a click of a button, you can turn on custom backgrounds for your gaming lower thirds template. Super easy and awesome to use. All you have to do, open up the background file and drag in your own background. Let's make it tacos, just for fun. So as always, I'm Max, please like and subscribe, jump to the store, take a look at this, and I'll catch you guys next time.